What's up, world? Happy Sunday fun day. We are down here by Bay Park, New York, and uh, we're down here looking at the water again. Check this out. So this is the western end of Long Island. Yesterday morning, we were at the eastern end of Long Island. Love this time of year. The water cleans up a lot. All the algae dies off. Look at the reflections over the water. I love this light in the morning. Sun's hiding behind the clouds. Pretty though. Oh, we got some entertainment over here too. I'll show you. Check this out. They're pulling this boat out of the water here. That's a big boy. 34 footer. There's a boat hauler over here. Look at that sky. How cool is this? So that's a 34 foot boat. Big wide beam, Sea Ray, the boat hauler here. And they're pulling this monster out of the water here. So these are the guys that take the boats up back to your house and lock them up on your front lawn, backyard, whatever. But that's a 34 foot boat that they're about to put on that trail. Look at that sky. Look at that sky. All right, all right. So while they're doing that, we'll give you the message of the day. So um, I was listening to uh, my buddy Jerry Gerkin's uh, podcast this morning with Chris Whitehead. Those are two of my apex and iconic brothers. And um, they had a podcast going I feel, that came out earlier in the week. I finally got a chance to listen to it on my ride. And uh, some good stuff was on there. And one of the things they talked about was, um, since we're going into Thanksgiving, we all talk about the thanks, but I'm going to talk about the giving. Um the law of reciprocity. So what Chris explained is we got to look at uh, our lives as a glass of water. And a lot of us walk around um, maybe 10, 20% full. And every time we give, we fill that glass a little bit more. And we keep filling that glass and we keep giving and giving and giving until we fill that glass to the top and it overflows. And once that glass overflows, the spillings of that glass are what we reap what we get back so we got to keep giving and giving and giving till our glass is overflowing and that's when it starts to come back to us um that's when the magic happens so in the spirit of thanksgiving we talk about giving thanks a lot but uh i want to focus on the giving part um giving we just got to keep giving to everybody around us keep inspiring everybody around us <clears throat> keep encouraging everybody around us keep forgiving everybody around us and uh, just keep giving back and keep filling up that glass. Just keep giving out to the universe. Um, the more good we get out into the world, no matter what happens in our lives, no matter what's coming against us, just keep giving, 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 giving. And wake up every morning, be thankful for what you have, and figure out how you're going to give some more. Um, hopefully, every morning I'm giving to you guys a little bit as I, uh, as I try and give you a positive message of stuff that I've come across in my life, and stuff that I'm... Uh, you know, learning and uh, I'm trying to encourage you. Uh, I really feel like together we can change the world. This world where hate makes headlines because goodness needs to speak up. And I'm surrounding myself with a lot of good people and uh, we're all speaking up together. Um, so <clears throat> in the spirit of Thanksgiving, get out there and give. Fill that cup up and let it overflow. Uh, when that cup starts overflowing, that's when the magic happens. That's when you start reaping um, the fruits of your labor. So Think about that in your life. Think about how every morning you're going to wake up and say thank you, and every morning you're going to figure out how you can give to the world a little bit. You know, I talk about every day. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place, and I'm serious about that. Um, go out of your way to make someone smile. Go out of your way to help someone. Go out of your way to make a phone call and encourage someone. Just little, little things. It doesn't have to be big things. Uh, every little touch you do on the world helps fill that glass up. It helps overflow that glass. And... That's where the magic happens. All right, so here's your message of the day. Get out there and give thanksgiving. Give thanks and give two parts of that equation. So, all right, let's jump on prayers. Look how pretty this is. Down here by the water in Bay Park. Give Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Dear God, give us the strength to keep giving, um, to keep encouraging all those around us, uh, to keep a positive mindset, uh, to be thankful for everything that you provide in our lives. Uh, Thanksgiving coming up, three-day week. Let's all, uh, let's help encourage everyone to be thankful and just keep giving. Amen. All right. So we are halfway through the ride. Sunday, fun day. Yesterday I was out in the Hamptons, uh, eastern end of Long Island. Now we're on the western end of Long Island in Bay Park. Equally beautiful. So cool. And uh, we got uh, guys over here pulling this big 39-foot boat out of the water. I'll give you a little entertainment factor here. It's pretty cool. You know, let's flip this around. So there's guys over there launching a boat, probably going out fishing. And these guys are getting ready to pull that big boat out. 39-footer right there. How cool is that? Look at that sky. Ooh. Good stuff. It's nice to get up early. Get out. It's cool. <laughs> It's a big boy to get out. <laughs> so, yeah, these guys are pulling this boat out, working on a Sunday morning. You want to see, them, see this truck get this thing out? It's a 34 footer, probably. It's a big beam on that truck, on that boat. So, we'll see if this truck can get it out. They're tying it up now. So, we're down here in Bay Park. Real pretty spot. We'll stay on with you, see if we can see him pull this boat out. The entertainment value here. So what's everyone doing this Sunday morning? What's everyone doing on this Sunday morning? Sunday fun day. What's the plan? Good morning, everyone on here. Let's see who's in here. Diane, how are you? Mariana, what's up? Greg. What's going on, Chrissy, Frank, Rita, good morning. That's it, Marianne, proud of you. That's what we do, we give. Givers give, givers get. Yeah, they're taking their time getting this thing ready. Yeah, that's a big boat they're about to pull out right there. So, yeah. so what's the plans for today? I think we grab some bagels on the way back from my ride and go to breakfast with the kitties. And uh, do some chores around the house. I'm gonna work on my bathroom. I gotta regrow my bathroom. Kids have uh, abused the bathroom a lot, and now the grout's coming out a little bit and making it leak, which isn't good. So we gotta fix that up. So I think that's on the agenda today. We'll work on the bathroom. We gotta show some houses later on this afternoon. And uh, here we go. We're about to pull this bad boy out of the water. Check this thing out. 39 footer, that's a big boat right there. Oh, we gotta put that thing in four-wheel drive to get that thing out. It's locking the hubs on the truck right now. Oh, you finished 75 hard. Way to go, Mariana, proud of you. Proud of you, there's Chris. Good morning, sir. Listen to your podcast this morning. Go back and listen to this. We were talking about uh, Thanksgiving and reciprocity and. We must give thanks, but we also must give. Fill up that cup and let it overflow. Right now, we're just providing some entertainment value while they pull this giant boat out of the water right here. Look at that bad boy. He put it in four-wheel drive. Let's see if he gets it out. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. Let's see. Beautiful morning down here. Bay Park. Uh, let's see, there he goes. It's a big sea ray right there. Oh, what do we got? I don't know, this is entertaining for me. I don't know about you guys. So. They're readjusting. This one's a long one because we're, uh, what's he doing there? I was adjusting the stops on the bottom of the uh, trailer there so it hits the boat in the right spot as it comes out of the water. So, anyway, so yeah, so uh, 
to go over our message again. We were just talking about how we got to give and fill that cup up, let it overflow, and that's where the magic happens. Um, I'm going to post a link to uh, my buddy Jerry Gherkin's podcast with Chris Whitehead under this. So uh, as soon as I get off this, I'll post that link. Take a listen to it. Uh, some great stuff on there. So two of my brothers that uh, really inspired me. Uh, here we go. Here it comes. So that's like a 39-footer, I believe. That's what it says on the side there. She's big. So these guys uh, get paid to do this. They come with this universal trailer. It's a hydraulic trailer, and it's got um, adjustable, adjustable, uh, I guess, plates on the bottom. And they can take any boat, and they pull your boat out of the water, and they bring it home, and they stick it in your backyard on your front lawn or whatever, so you can keep it home for the season. Let's see. So this is Bay Park, if any of you guys know where this is. East Rockaway, New York. Just take uh, Ocean Avenue all the way south, basically, until you hit the water. This is uh, Nassau County, New York, and uh, it's a really cool place to live, I got to say. We are blessed to live here on Long Island. An hour east, I was in the Hamptons yesterday. We saw that video. Now, back home, over here, I don't know. We're going to let these guys get this boat out and taking their time, making adjustments. Let me see how big that thing is. There he goes. There they go. They're both moving, they're adjusting the, uh, the legs that hold the boat up. All right. Thought I was gonna give you a little show. They're taking their time. Let's see. I know it's a big process. Make sure this thing lands on the trailer right, so they don't fall off onto the street. That wouldn't be good. <clears throat> but um, all right, everyone. Anyway, happy Sunday, fun day. Go out there and uh, give today. Let's fill up that cup. Fill that cup up by giving. Fill that cup up by inspiring people in your life. Again, every time you give a smile, every time you say good morning, every time you reach out and say hello to someone. Pick up your phone, roll through your contacts, and just call some random people and say hello. Um, keep giving. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to continue watching them take this big-ass boat out of the water. Oh, oh wait, maybe we'll get it now. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see this thing out of the water. The good word, Chris, is it's another day, another gift here to give and to uh, be inspired and to ride at dawn. Every morning we get up and we ride. Uh, here he goes. There he goes. These guys know what they're doing. These guys know what they're doing. Look at this. Look at that. A 34-footer, 340. It's a big dog right there. Beast of a little truck there too. Didn't even spin the tires. Look how big that thing is. It's a big boat to be sitting on a trailer. There it is, mission accomplished, pretty cool. All right, you got to see the show. Give you some entertainment. That's how to get those big boats out of the water and back on people's front lawns. Trailers are pretty cool. They have hydraulics. They can lift the boat up and set it on blocks and let it back down. And someone's cool invention, someone's cool job and career. But um, all right, everyone. Again, happy Sunday. Appreciate you all. Go back and watch this. 
Uh, in the beginning, got some inspiration for you. In the end, we got some boats coming out of the water. I'm going to post a link to a cool podcast with uh, Chris and Jerry. And uh, you guys listen to that. And let me know what you think after you listen to it. Post it back in the comments. All right, everyone. I appreciate you all. Fire starts fire. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. God bless you all. Happy Sunday.